So if let's say one has hundred million dollar worth of wealth, and when he dies, he can only transfer probably forty five percent to his children. Fifty five percent is grabbed by government. Now that's an interesting law. This comment made by Sam Pitroda, who heads the Indian Overseas Congress, triggered a political row ahead of the polls. The remarks came when the Congress was already on the back foot over the issue, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi claiming that the Congress manifesto showed it intended to redistribute the nation's wealth. But this is not the first controversy sparked by Petroda in recent years. Let's have a look at who Sam Petroda is and what other controversial statements he made in the past. He is a close confidant of the Nehru Gandhi family, a Rajiv Gandhi aide. Sam Pitroda now heads the Indian Overseas Congress and is based in Chicago. 81-year-old Pitroda, who describes himself as a telecom inventor, entrepreneur, development thinker and policy maker on his website, served as an advisor to Rajiv Gandhi when he was the Prime Minister. In 1989, he became the first chairman of the Telecom Commission and also headed the National Knowledge Commission from 2005 to 2009 under Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. In 2009, he was appointed as an advisor to the Prime Minister on public information infrastructure with the rank of a cabinet minister. That's not all. Petroda also organizes Congress MP Rahul Gandhi's international speaking events among other engagements. Let's take a look at the controversial statements made by Sam Petroda. Ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, Petroda had said in a TV interview that the middle class should be prepared to pay more taxes to guarantee minimum income for all poor households, asking them not to be selfish. Senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram had to later clarify there would be no additional tax burden on the middle class if the Congress returned to power. Then his remarks on the IAF strike in Balakot and countering terrorism drew sharp attacks from the BJP. This is what he said, and I quote, Attack happened in Mumbai also. We could have then reacted and just sent our planes, but that is not the correct approach. Eight people, 26 and 11 terrorists, come and do something. You don't jump on the entire nation. Naive to assume that just because some people came here and attacked every citizen of that nation is to be blamed. During the 2019 Lok Sabha polls, when the BJP claimed that instructions for the 1984 anti-Sikh riots came from Rajiv Gandhi, Petroda denied the charge but said, and I quote, Now what is there to say about 1984? Talk about what you did in the last five years. What happened in 1984 happened. He later apologized and issued a clarification. Petroda also threatened to shake the Congress's tightrope walk in the run-up to the consecration of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya when the BJP was accusing opposition parties of disregarding Lord Ram and hurting sentiments. When nation is all involved in the Ram Temple, Ram Mandir, Diya Jalao, okay, that bothers me. I am worried about it because I see too much importance given to religion. I see that democracy is being undermined. Religion is something very personal. Don't nationalize it. Congress's go-to man in technological matters has made multiple statements in the past that have hurt the party. Like this time, the party has had to dissociate itself from his earlier statements too. That's all for today. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, theinternexpress.com. Thank you so much for watching.